Hello everyone, this is Mira Kelly and today I would love for us to work through the sadness that we're all experiencing. This pandemic, this coronavirus is bringing up so much sadness. Um, whether it's us self-quarantining and feeling the sadness of just the distance, whether it's the sadness of businesses needing to have their employees work remotely, whatever it is that we're experiencing, it's all about that feeling of losing a way of life, recognizing that something has changed and something will be different from now on, missing, missing the old, missing the old way of being. Ah. And so rather than have me talk to you about the sadness and how we shouldn't be sad, I really want to actually do tapping with you so that we can move through these emotions. And so as we begin our tapping, I want you to um, focus on where you want to go. In other words, what is the emotion that you actually want to experience? Because the goal of tapping as we do this tapping round will be for us to, yes, acknowledge the sadness, uh, yes, voice it, yes, release it, but also I want to guide you to a better feeling place. So what do you want to feel instead of that feeling of being sad? Joy? Gratitude? That would be my suggestion. Let's focus on joy and gratitude. And so here's what I want to ask you to do. Please take a deep breath in. Just center into your body. Sense what you're feeling and connect with that feeling of sadness. Feel free to close your eyes. Feel free to just really feel how you feel. And as you feel into the sadness, I want to ask you to give it a number. If zero were none whatsoever, I don't feel sad at all, and 10 is the most, how strong is your sadness? And now also please sense, do you feel it anywhere in your body? Is it a sensation you can identify in your body? Is it a sensation in your body that you can give a color or a feeling? Just notice all those details. And let's do some tapping. Now, for those of you who do tapping regularly and know all the points, please work through all of them. For those of you who are new to tapping, I can suggest that you either just tap on the karate chop point, which is below the pinky and above the wrist, so this fleshy part right here. And of course, you can switch between both hands. Or you can just tap on the collarbone point which is uh, right here where the knot of a man's tie would go. And so uh, please uh, tap and repeat after me. Even though I feel the sadness, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I feel the sadness, I recognize this emotion. I honor it. I recognize that everything is changing around me. And as I release the sadness, as I speak it and as I release it, I choose to find peace. I choose to connect to that still, calm place within me. Even though this has been really difficult, because the truth is, so much is changing. I really feel out of control. 
I'm doing the best I can. But it's really hard. I'm going to miss the way things used to be. I already miss them. And it's hard to accept what's happening. I honor the sadness. I honor how I feel. And I choose to release this sadness. And I choose to focus on gratitude. I choose to focus on joy. I choose to focus on what's good and right that is right in front of me. All these emotions. It's really hard. It's really hard to stay stable and grounded. When everyone around me is panicking. When everyone feels like they're out of control. When no one knows what they're doing. It really makes me sad that everything is canceling. I'm constantly hearing stories of events being canceled just so that we are safe. I'm hearing stories of kids staying at home and schools closing. I'm hearing stories of businesses asking their employees to work remotely. People are self-quarantining. The shortage of food and water is crazy. Going to a store makes me really anxious. It makes me anxious to see those empty shelves. Those empty shelves. It feels like it's too much. I'm doing my best not to panic. But the truth is, I have a lot of anxiety. I have a lot of fears. And I really feel sad. I feel sad that I have to cancel my plans. I feel sad that I don't know how to make it better. I feel this heavy feeling of not knowing. How much longer is this gonna last? I just want life to go back to normal. I really want things to get better. And yet here we are. A part of me is saying, just accept it. Just do what you have to. And I really am doing all that I can. And it's okay if I feel sad. It's allowed to feel sad. 
It would be crazy if I were completely emotionless about this. I acknowledge how I feel. And I know that I don't need to hold on to these emotions. I can allow my body to relax. I can allow this panic and this tension to release. Right here, right now, I can allow the muscles of my body to just relax. Because right here, right now, I am safe. I am protected. I'm choosing to take a deep breath in. And I'm choosing to release the sadness. I'm allowing the sadness to clear. I recognize that as things are changing globally, as things are cracking up, through those cracks, new opportunities will emerge the light will shine brighter. This too shall pass and things will get better. I'm acknowledging my emotions. I'm acknowledging my anxiety. I'm acknowledging that I do feel out of control. And I choose to release these emotions. I don't owe it to anyone to hold on to them. It's safe and allowed to clear these feelings and to remind myself that right here, right now, I am safe. I am protected. All is well and all will be well. And just like the clouds drift across the sky, I'm allowing my emotions to rise and then drift away. I'm allowing my sadness to rise. I'm expressing it. I'm giving it a voice. And then I choose to clear it. My sadness is drifting across the sky and simply drifting away. What do I want to focus on? How about if I choose to focus on gratitude? There are many things that are good and right in this moment. There are many things that I can praise. There are many things that I can love and celebrate. 
there are people in my life that I can love and celebrate. I choose to focus on gratitude. I choose to feel relief right now. I have control over this. I can choose to feel relief right now. Right here, right now. I can take a deep breath in. And I can allow my shoulders to relax. Right here, right now. I can choose peace. I am choosing to feel peaceful. I'm intentionally choosing to feel relief. I can allow myself to feel safe. And this too shall pass. I am protected. And meanwhile, I'm choosing joy. I'm choosing to find things that make me feel lighter. I'm choosing to think thoughts that make me smile. I can do this. I can worry as much as I want later. Right here, right now, I'm choosing joy. Right here, right now, I'm saying thank you. There's so much to be grateful for. I'm grateful for my healthy body. I'm grateful for my safe environment. I'm grateful for the people I have in my life. I'm grateful for everyone doing their best. I'm grateful that right here, right now, I can choose to feel emotional relief. I can choose how I want to feel. And I'm choosing joy. I'm choosing gratitude. I'm choosing to relive those moments that make me feel good. All is well. I am well. Stop tapping, take a deep breath in. Place your hands on your heart. Take a deep breath in. Ah, and just feel how good it feels to feel relief, to feel good, to know that you are taken care of, you're safe, you are protected. And by focusing on gratitude and on joy, you're making a difference in your health, in your well-being, and also the well-being of everyone around you. I love you. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.